today the topic of discussion is cubital fossa and its clinical relevance what is a cubital fossa cubital fossa is an important transition between the arm and the forearm it's a triangular depression located anteriorly to your elbow joint and it is formed between two forearm muscles namely brachioradialis and pronate arteries what are the boundaries of cubital fossa the lateral or the radial boundary is formed by brachioradialis and the medial or the ulna boundary is formed by pronate arteries coming to the base of the cubital fossa it is formed by a imaginary horizontal line that is drawn between the lateral and the medial epicondyle of the humerus apex apex of the fossa is formed when brachioradialis crosses the pronate arteries muscle and what is the roof roof contains all these layers namely skin superficial fascia and we all know that the superficial fascia contains a medial cubital vein and this medial cubital vein connects the cephalic vein and the basilic vein and the other contents in the roof of the cubital fossa include lateral cutaneous nerve medial cutaneous nerve deep fascia and bicipital aponeurosis the floor the floor is formed mainly by two muscles namely brachialis and supinator muscle the contents of the cubital fossa the contents of the fossa from lateral to medial these are the radial nerve the biceps tendon brachial artery and the median nerve let us discuss these contents in detail now going to radial nerve it passes underneath the brachioradialis muscle which forms the lateral margin of this fossa as you can see in this diagram it divides into a superficial branch and a deep branch the superficial branch continues into the forearm deep to the brachioradialis muscle the deep branch the deep branch passes between the two heads of the supinator muscle to reach the posterior compartment of the forearm as you can see in this diagram the biceps tendon the biceps tendon runs through the cubital fossa attaching itself to the radial tuberosity along with the bicipital aponeurosis going to the brachial artery the brachial artery bifurcates into radial and the ulnar arteries at the apex of the fossa going into the median nerve the median nerve lies medial to the brachial artery it leaves the cubital fossa between the two heads of the pronate arteries muscle and it supplies the majority of the flexor muscles of the forearm note here an important point that ulnar nerve is not a content of the cubital fossa because we all know that it passes posteriorly to the medial epicondyle of the humerus the first clinical relevance is the intravenous injections the medial cubital vein is located superficially within the roof of the fossa it connects the basilic and the cephalic veins and it is easily accessed for any of the venous approaches the second important point is the brachial pulse the brachial pulse can be felt by palpating immediately medial to the biceps tendon in the fossa the third important point is a supracondylar fractures what is a supracondylar fracture it is caused when we fall on a flexed elbow and it is a transverse fracture spanning between the epicondyles of the humerus where the fracture fragments may damage the contents of the fossa this is what we need to know about cubital fossa and its clinical relevance